Dr. Benjamin Siegel came to U of M to head a new research and clinical center devoted to finding better ways to treat multiple sclerosis. His studies are significant because they suggest that people who present the same clinical signs of multiple sclerosis may have two different forms of the disease. Uh, multiple sclerosis is driven by abnormal inflammation in the brain and spinal cord. In the past, it was taken for granted that the type of inflammation that caused the damage was similar from one patient to another. However, our studies show an identical clinical uh, form of MS-like disease in animals could be caused by different types of inflammatory molecules and white blood cells. And this suggests that different treatments may be appropriate for different individuals, even if they appear similar um, clinically in terms of their symptoms. Um, at the University of Michigan, the multiple sclerosis program has both a clinical arm and a research arm. We do provide care and diagnostic services for patients with multiple sclerosis and therapies. In addition, we have a large research effort. And some of the work that we're doing is to um, develop blood tests that will allow us to improve diagnosis and also to better monitor the disease state in patients without doing MRI scans on a monthly basis, for example. We are doing more studies in mice to better understand the nature of the inflammation that causes the damage and to investigate repair pathways in the central nervous system that may re hopefully one day allow us to develop drugs that will reverse some of the um, deficits and symptoms that patients suffer from in this disease. Well, 15 years ago, there really weren't any treatments that altered the, the history of patients with multiple sclerosis, the clinical course. The only treatment we had were steroids, which accelerated recovery from attacks, but didn't really alter long-term outcomes. Now there are five FDA-approved medications that decrease the risk of future attacks, future plaque uh, formation in the brain and spinal cord, and damage to nervous system tissues. And most experts in the field believe that our patients who are on these treatments are doing much better than patients have done in the past and are less likely to become disabled as they get older. However, we still don't have a cure. There is a lot of um, progress being made in terms of research and new strategies. Um, and I, I'm very optimistic for the future.